Hi, this is Paul from TriStar Tech Solutions um, with one of our tips and tricks videos. Um, today we're looking at um, adding content to uh, content management systems and why you shouldn't use uh, Word documents or websites. Um, we often find that um, our clients give us a call and say uh, that their website seems to have different fonts and different sizes in the content. And this is often because it's been copied from somewhere that has code in, in, the, in the document. And, and WordPress is, is, sorry, beg your pardon, Word is one of those uh, type um, documents that, that has this problem. So the, the, the way a website works is it has something called style sheets. Now, a style sheet looks something like this here. So in the website, in, in the website folders and files, it has a, this style sheet that says this website has certain size fonts, um, certain size headers, um, and certain colors for different things. Uh, so for instance, um, this is saying that it's uh, Arial Helvetica Sans Serif uh, font family. Um, the H1 tag, so that's the biggest title tag, is this size. The H2 is this size, etc. And it also tells you the colors that, um, that uh, the links are as well. So all of that information is in the site. So when you add your content by typing it in, everything is perfect, okay? However, if you were to go to a document like this one, so one of your colleagues has prepared content for you uh, in a Word document, and then you copy this, and then you go to your content management system, so here's one that's open now, and you paste that in, what it's actually doing is it's retaining all of the sizing uh, that you've used in the Word document. So if I have a look at the code, you'll see I've got all of this stuff saying that um, the font is Times Roman, um, it's different sizes, it's got all of this additional information, different colors, which are going to have a problem on your website because what's going to do is it's going to conflict with the style sheets on your website. So you're going to end up with the wrong sizes, the fonts, colors are all incorrect, and it's going to look awful. Okay, so the way to get around this um, is, let me just get rid of all of this because it's not going to work properly otherwise. So let's delete all of that information and go back to a clean pane. Um, just before I, I, I show you how to get around it, you will find the same thing will happen is if I was to copy it directly from a website, is it will retain the styles that are relevant to that website. So again, if I look at that, we've got all this other information, sizes, margins, which are all wrong for your website. So what we need to do is we basically go to our WordPress document, oh sorry, Word document, the copy that information and we take it into notepad so if i just copy that into notepad okay and then i select all do my control c shortcut to copy it or right click and copy and then i go to my content management system and i copy that in okay now you'll see that the only things I've got there are paragraphs. All the sort of stuff we had before has all been completely stripped out. Now, um, that means that the website itself will now know the right size fonts and will do all of that bit for you. Um, you will, however, um, need to create uh, an H tag for the top one, which is relevant to the site. So what I need to do is just go in here and put in uh, H1 and then go to the end of that, put in H1, okay, 
flick that back to that and you'll see that we've now got a title. If I save that now, the website will have the right size fonts, the right size titles, and you won't have any of these problems with different colors and stuff going on. Um, so remember, um, don't copy from Word documents, don't copy uh, from websites, um, strip it out by adding it to uh, a notepad, uh, which everybody has on their machine, um, and that will get rid of pretty much all of the, uh, the code that you don't want. Uh, I hope that's been useful. Um, that's one of our tips for improving the content on your website. Um, look out for more videos from us and uh, have a good evening.